Hello guys, Anix here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna teach you on how to build your Nexus engine in all contents. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, if you haven't followed my Facebook, Twitch, and Instagram profiles, please do so. It means a lot to me. And without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, so let's start for the Nexus guide for mechanic. So there are type uh, five types of modules. So from type A to type E. And uh, each module has a unique uh, combination of stats and skills. So as you can see on the right side here, you can see that uh, type E can get you uh, 1 to 4 stats and 2 uh, effect skills. And then uh, for type D, 1 to 3 stats and 1 effect skill. And then for type C, 1 to 2 stats and 0 to 1 effect or skill. And then for type B, uh, one to one stat and then uh, zero to one effect uh, or skill and then for type a one stat and no skill so as you can see uh, each module has a corresponding number of um, grids so grids are uh, like the number of hexagon on each uh, module and then uh, so there are three types of modules on the nexus uh, engine so those are offense offense defense and and support so offense are red modules defense are yellow and support are green ones and then for the build so there are uh, a lot of combination or variation in in which you can uh, um, configure your your uh, nexus engine so uh, for this video, we will talk about, or I, I will talk about the uh, the two uh, styles. So the long term and the short term. For long term, you will use 5-2-5-1-1. So long term means uh, you play until ROO die. And then for short term, it's 4-3-4-2-1. So it's like if you if you are if you feel like you you are quitting soon or you will not play roo for a long time so you will just go for four three four two one but for long term five two five one one and then um uh, for uh defense and support early to mid game it's uh, three two one one for defense and support and then for late game 52511 or 43421 depending on your um, on how long uh, will you play short term or long term then for support 3211 so you, you can you can switch uh, this configuration or these combinations of depth defense and support but uh, we will discuss it later and then for stats and skills so for offense so this is ranked according to the um, most priority to least priority so for setup one so there are two setups of uh, offensive modules so for setup one melee uh, p damage percentage pvp damage bonus pve damage bonus crit and then for setup two melee p damage percentage pvp damage bonus crit and crit damage so as you can see um the the setup one is more focused on pve this is pve focused and then setup two is more on on pvp or if you want to play blaze uh blaze acts or blaze divine armament in the future and then for skills you will need sharp arms sharp arms deduction induction and lastly audacity for defense uh you will need PvP damage reduction, uh, critical resistance, and crit damage resistance. Also, if you if you want PvE damage reduction, but I don't recommend PvE damage reduction uh, because MVP ranking systems punish uh, players with lots of PvE damage reduction because you you need to take more damage to gain more points in MVP hunts. And then for uh, skill of defense, then vivacity, number one, next equity, and lastly unity. Or I, I think equity and unity is equal, but uh, we just need to um, 
get that at least uh, one of these but vivacity is the priority and then for support these are the stats max pvp ward pvp ward recovery pvp ward recovery percentage and max hp and then for skills gallantry and ardency these are the uh, most important skills for support and then for talents so talents uh, these are the talents so as you can see they are or uh, on the uh, bottom part of the screen so these are very vital um uh, part of your nexus so to unlock five talents so there are five talent slot as you can see here so i i still haven't unlocked the f the fifth talent because uh we don't have uh any more uh, nexus key on the diamond shop so but uh, for future plan so to unlock five talent slots you need to get either uh, there are three um, three builds so a is offensive tank then b is su offensive support build and then c is tank support build so i recommend the offensive tank build because it's uh, more uh, friendly for uh, all contents pve and pvp so a is 14 offense and then 14 defense and 7 support and then for b it's 14 offense and then 7 defense and 7 uh, i mean 14 support and then c it's the least recommended because you will uh, lose a lot of damage it's 7 7 offense 14 defense and seven, uh, 14 support and then these are the talents that you will need to get and you, you cannot you cannot control really the the chance of getting this this talents but if you get one of these you should uh, you should um reserve them or don't don't replace them if you get them so overheat magnetic field vulcan arm and neutral barrier and lastly impact landing so foul turret is not good so it's not good really so I, I don't I don't uh, see myself using the foul turret. Uh, impact landing is more more important because impact landing grants you endure and movement speed for uh, for four seconds. So this is very important on on warp imperium. And then to upgrade and to level up uh, the modules. Uh, you, you will need to get components through dismantling and uh, you should uh, or you must use the same type of component or module to, to upgrade or level up your your um, your modules so as you level up your modules you will get more stats so as you can see here on preview uh, it's uh, the stats gets better as as you level up uh, level up them. Okay, so next is the uh, uh, the question when to dismantle or use for upgrade. So for type uh, E or five, if you have less than three stats, it's automatic. You you should you should uh, dismantle. So less than three or two, that's uh, two stats. If you have two stats for for five, then dismantle them. And then for uh, type D or for four four grid, less than three stats. And then for three, less than two stats, no skill. And then for two, less than two stats, no skill. And then for type A or one, if the stat is not in the recommended list above if it's uh if it's not it's not here so you should dismantle them and use them for upgrade so that's it for the nexus guide thank you for watching i'll see you on the next video